Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, we are going to take a look at the chili pepper plant, specifically why the leaves are looking like how they are looking now. They are looking very distorted, they are looking curled, and they are mostly curling downwards, right? Uh, so, what could cause this? Um, I am looking and I am not seeing any form of nutrient deficiency or anything like that. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've um, grabbed my hand lens and I'm basically, well I've already done it, I've basically looked under some of the distorted leaves, some of the leaves that have curled down like, like, like this one. Look at this one, this one is basically curled downwards, right, so I looked at maybe about 5 or 6 of them and I realized that I saw um, aphids right I saw aphids so initially I thought that it was mite but that's that's how um, investigative work um, go when you see these things on plants you can't just go and assume because a lot of insects they can cause similar um, um, patterns right as it relates to curling and so on so you be you definitely have to go in with your with your hand lens uh, you, that this is a magnifying glass right go in and look on the leaves look on the underside of the leaves and you'll basically um do a better diagnosis in terms of which one of the insects are are, are causing or might are causing the problem right um and when I look, I saw that aphids were there, and I also saw a white fly. And if you look on, look on this leaf. This is a leaf that is on the lower part of the plant. If you look on it, you will realize that you will realize that um, we have um, white fly. Um, so at least we see that um, they are here, right? And they are basically the ones. Um, sucking these because they are all they are both sucking insects so they are they are the ones sucking these the, the younger um, leaves and the younger plant parts and causing the leaves to be distorted and deform and curling downwards right and basically what this is doing is that it is basically reducing the surface area of the plant leaves so you're basically having less photosynthesis happening the plant producing less food so by that happening you realize that you might have blossom fall because the plant simply just cannot support um, all the blossoms right and you'll also find that the younger part uh, right of, of the of the of the plant the younger growing points of a the plant they are basically um, you know they basically stop growing because um, of the feeding pattern of the aphids and the white fly right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a shot of insecticide and fungicide um, to this uh, chili pepper plant as you can see we have um, peppers coming out here's another one right there so this is how the leaves look after I sprayed it with the insecticide as you can see the the growing points are the younger leaves they are basically you know looking open and broad and looking all healthy um, compared to uh, the, the the ones before these ones that curl right as you can see the newer growth the leaves are looking much healthier right looking much healthier and guess what we have the last time you saw only two peppers on the tree now we have plenty look at that plenty you might not be able to see them probably because the leaves are green and they are green as well but they are plenty on the plant now a lot so um so i'm happy to say that um we have controlled the white fly and the the aphid however um, I'm going to give it another shot just to ensure that um, I catch any that were 
you know that are basically still there right to totally clean up the plant 